Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, as you guys might know, Roblox has just updated. So a lot of the executors have been patched. Um, I have managed to find an executor that is working. Um, it is a really old executor. It has been around for a very long time. So it is very trusted. Um, so that is the Oxygen U ex executor. I will be showcasing it in this video. I'll be explaining how to set it up, how to use it. So make sure you watch the video to the very end. So you don't miss any of the steps. The very first thing you need to make sure you do is make sure you're on, on Windows 10 or 11. This only works on Windows 10 or 11. It won't work on Windows 8, 7, Mac or Android or iOS devices. Okay, so only Windows 10 or 11. Once you do confirm that, um, if you're on Windows 11, you need to go over to this icon right here. And if you're on Windows 10, it will be in the bottom left corner. Okay, so that is the Windows icon. Go over there and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up. This is a really important step. You need to do this. I will explain what you need to do before you turn this back on. For now, this is really important. When you do come to this page, if your page looks similar to mine, then that's perfect. If it doesn't look similar to mine and you don't see these options over here, then what you need to do is you need to go into the search again and search for control panel under programs click on uninstall a program and then you need to go through this list and find your antivirus and right click it and click on uninstall okay um if you know how to disable it you need to disable it instead um but that is the only way to get around that okay um for 99 percent of the people your page should look similar to mine so there is nothing to worry about um from here just click on manage settings and Turn off real-time protection. This is really important. I will explain what you need to do before you turn this back on. For now, you need to turn it off. Okay. Once you turn this off, you can close out of this. When you do turn it off, it might give you a little um, prompt which you need to agree to. So just click yes to turn it off. Then when you later turn it back on, it will give you the same message and you can click yes again. Okay. So when you do start with this procedure, make sure this is off. Then you can close out of that and go to the first link in the description which will be my website now if you're watching this video as it releases or within the first day um the link should be over here for the oxygen u download it should be in the top left corner however if you're watching maybe a week two weeks a month down the line then at that point it might not be here it's going to be you know as you know as some other place what you can do is just search for oxygen u over here and then that will give you the download okay normally it will give you the download page instantly um so there is nothing to worry about there um but when you do find the download link just go ahead and click on download now and it will give you the description of the video down here it will give you the download button over here so just click that and if it does give you an ad and it doesn't take you to this page um for the oxygen u executor then what you need to do is close the um actual tab and reopen the link and that should take you to the actual executor okay so when you do go to the actual executor link it should look similar to mine what you need to do is you need to simply complete these steps down here so you will see one or two steps over here just go ahead and click that so for me it says i need to download an extension so when i do click that i need to click on chrome store um and again i've already got it installed so i'll just go ahead and remove it and i will do the step again so go to chrome store add my brave um browser if you're using chrome it will be the same thing then if i do go back and I'll wait a couple of seconds it should prove it uh normally it does do it instantly sometimes it does have weeks so if it does you can click back onto it change so in this case i'm gonna remove it and i'm gonna try it again let me go ahead and refresh that there we go it's because i already had it installed so maybe that caused a problem so it's checking it has now been added to my browser and there we go so we can go ahead and click on go to destination when you do click it it might open up an ad as you can see on my screen simply close out of that and click on go to destination again normally it does open up around two to three ads uh, in this case it just opened one and it will take you to this page over here so over here is just going to do a little countdown just wait the second be around 10 to 15 seconds and here we go now we can click on proceed to target again it has opened an ad so I close out of that proceed to target again the ad proceed to target again that is the third ad now it should give me the download here we go perfect so now i can choose the download location and i can 
click save i've already got it downloaded so i don't have to do that but my download is right here when you do have it downloaded what you need to do is you need to right click it and click on extract all and click on extract there we go that will create a new folder for you it will open the folder up at this point you can delete the old folder and let's go ahead and go into this and here we go these are the files now before we touch anything we'll go ahead and close out this now remember at the start we turned off real-time protection we need to turn that back on so we need to go into virus and threat protection once again go into manage settings again before you turn this back on you need to scroll down to exclusions click on add an exclusion choose folder and then you need to choose the file path of this folder okay so for me it's in my desktop and it's right here so just go ahead and single click it make sure you don't double click and open it up just single click it where you where it's actually highlighted like this and then go ahead and click on select folder once you do that just have a look through the list make sure it has been added for me it's right here once that has been done you can go back scroll up and turn on real-time protection again if it gives you a little prompt click on yes now you're ready to go oxygen you will not be deleted from your computer next time you restart it um and you're pretty much good to go okay so now you can open this um back up and run the oxygen u bootstrapper it will give you this little prompt click on more info then click on run anyway that will start the bootstrapper will start downloading the files in this folder over here so just wait a couple of seconds and it will start the executor for you now at this point what you can do is go into roblox you can't actually inject before going into it go into roblox first go so let's go ahead and close out that and we're ready to jump into a roblox game um so let's go into jailbreak for example now let's also look at the features that this offers um they do have a script box where you can search for scripts however it is currently down so you won't be able to use it normally you can come over here and you can search for a game and it will give you a bunch of scripts for that game um you can also go into settings you've got topmost which will keep the file on top um so even if there is something in the background that i'm clicking it will still stay on top which is pretty useful otherwise as you can see it is like that um auto launch so that will automatically launch oxygen u when you start a roblox game save size so if i turn that off and i readjust the size and if i was to close it and open it back up it will go back to the default size but if i turn it on it will actually save the size that i last used um you don't want to turn this on also auto attach that will automatically inject the executor into the roblox game when you join anti obs again don't worry about that fps unlocker you can turn it on if you do support more than 60 hertz if your monitor supports more than 60 hertz but these are the features that the actual executor supports now we can go ahead and put in our script inject the executor and test it pretty much yeah um so again as the script um, box doesn't work you do need to grab your own scripts and find them on my website if you're looking for any specific games you can search them in the search box on the website um but yeah so that's pretty much how you actually launch the uh, the actual, actual executor and set it up now we'll get into the showcase okay so now before you do anything the very first thing you need to do is click this button over here which is the inject button and it will say it's re-downloading the dll and it's going to start injecting here we go and it's going to open this up and perfect now it will ask you to get a key um i have already generated my key so it didn't ask me for a key this time around i believe the key will last 24 hours before you can generate a new key so you will need a new key every 24 hours um it does take you to link wordize and there are around two to three checkpoints so i think for kernel there are around three or maybe even four uh, i can't really remember um but for oxygen u i think there were around two checkpoints so once you do the, do those you will get the key you can paste it in you will get the executor on um up and running so let me go ahead and grab a little script now here we go um we have injected so you can see here now we'll paste the script and click on the run button 
Okay. It will freeze for a second because it is a heavy script. You can see the script has started working. Now I will turn on auto rob. It is an auto rob script. Um, I forgot to choose themes, but it has done it for me. Here we go. And it's teleporting me to all of the locations to kind of gather more money. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, for the Oxygen U Executor, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, and it is one of the first executors that updated um, as Roblox updated. So yeah, it's definitely a fast updating executor. I would definitely recommend using it if you haven't already tried it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.